I get this question all the time, Ken, how did you manage to overcome your vice? How did you manage to overcome your addiction, your, your pornography, masturbation addiction? And I say to guys all the time, the answer isn't external. The problem what you are doing here is by you asking that question, I already know that you're lost. I already know that you don't realize where the answer is. And so the answer is within you. When you overcome this addiction eventually, you will realize that you are the only hurdle. It's between yourself and your brain. What I'm here to do is guide you, but it will be utterly and completely down to you. What I don't want you to do is when you make it and when you achieve goals and when you overcome bad habits and addictions to say, yeah, this person was the reason I was able to accomplish it. No, you were the reason you were able to overcome it. We were just here to help you and guide you. And so when I get people ask me this question, I want them to actually comprehend what, what I've just said there because it's something that I repeat. Now, I'm going to be brutally honest, comparing my story, casting my mind back to many years ago, it took me over four years, over four years, nearly four and a half years, actually, to overcome this addiction, four and a half years, not in terms of how long I had the addiction for, because that was more, that was a decade plus, I'm talking about of conscious effort to overcome it, serious effort, and the first thing I tell guys is, your reason why must be strong enough. Now, this transcends, this aligns with everything else and all the points that I make in other, other videos and previous videos in terms of goal setting, ambitions, achieving your aspirations. I tell people all the time, your reason why has to be strong enough because I guarantee you, if your reason why isn't strong enough, forget no fact for a second, you're not achieving or attaining any goal. It's not happening. It's not happening. And I tell you from experience, I tell you from talking to other people that say, my reason why it wasn't good enough. It wasn't specific enough. It wasn't strong enough. I didn't have a, an ignite, a burning desire within me to achieve that goal. You have to ignite a burning desire. If you don't know the reason why, sit down with a spiral notebook, a pen, in silence, no distraction, and actually evaluate what is going wrong in your life. What benefits are you going to receive by overcoming this hurdle? What's holding you back? What is, why are you miserable and in a constant state of despair? Just keep asking yourself why. Keep asking these questions to yourself. And it might take 5, 10 minutes. It might take 20 minutes. It might take for you to stop writing, go into the shower, do some physical exercise. Bingo. Your subconscious mind is at work. You figured out the answer. But your reason why has to be strong enough. And, and that is a second thing outside of the fact that once you overcome this addiction, you realize it was just you. It's just you. You are the biggest hurdle. But the second one is the reason why. The third, and I've said this previously, definitely on this channel, and it's counting days. Again, this is a big part as to why I didn't overcome my addiction for four and a half years. Because I would say, okay, day one, okay. I was that guy, and I know you guys are doing the exact same thing. I was that guy that would watch these no fat timeline videos. On day seven, you're going to experience this benefit. On day 14, you're going to have this benefit. Your testosterone goes up by 45% on day seven. How, how many of you guys have seen those Chinese studies where your testosterone goes up by 45% on day seven. I've seen that a million times. You release dopamine by watching these videos. It brings you excitement, but you don't take action. Day 14, you're going to experience this benefit. Your brain's going to rewire on day 21. On day 90, you're going to be completely rewired and you're not going to have this addiction. It's nonsensical. The entire thing is preposterous. It's inane. Don't listen to that because A, the way that your brain rewires is completely different to every single individual. So it might take longer than 90 days. It might take 180 days for your brain to, to essentially reset itself, reset, reset those, those dopaminergic levels back to baseline levels, back to how it was as you were a kid. It might take longer. We don't know the frequency of your addiction. We don't know the intensity of your addiction. We don't know if you were using OnlyFans, for example. That means your addiction is more intense and severe. Luckily, I never got to that level, but I know many people that did. And so you need to understand that everyone's timeline and journey is different. So you sit in there going, I'm on day 14, so I must experience this benefit. And then when your benefit doesn't align with the benefit that was experienced from that guy in the video, all of a sudden you become disheartened. Why? It's asinine. It's absolutely inane. You shouldn't feel disheartened because your journey is completely different. So you sit in there counting days is one of the most dumbest things that you can do. Do not count days. Now, initially, if it's your first streak and you want to keep a rough track, fine. But don't sit there and go, tomorrow I'm on day 39. 
No, because then when you inevitably relapse, because when you embrace and embark on this journey, you inevitably relapse. When you get to day 45, for example, roughly, and you relapse, you have that all or nothing mindset, which I spoke about in yesterday's video. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out and how it holds you back in life. In your head, and I, I have to put these quotation marks, in your head, you're back on day zero. So because you embrace and harness that mentality, you think, oh, day zero, what's wrong if I just have a binge session here four or five times, I'll start again tomorrow. No, your brain doesn't work on days. Your brain doesn't understand. The idea of time and days is, is a human construct. Your brain doesn't understand that. So when you've relapsed once in 45 days, that is significant progress compared to the previous 45 days before that. It's a substantial difference. That is the perspective that you have to have. That is the shift, the paradigm shift that you need. So instead of going, oh, I'm on day zero, and that's what happens when you count days. That's why I tell you guys, stop counting days, because that is going to be one of the biggest reasons why you're not going to overcome this addiction. It's the reason why you still haven't overcome this addiction, because your dumb ass is still counting days. You have to stop counting days. Forget about it. Your brain doesn't understand days. What you should be doing, if, if you're really adamant on keeping a streak, keep this sort of streak, not counting days. But every time you relapse, put a tick. So say in a 30-day stretch, you want to have the, the minimal amount of ticks that you have alongside the number. So in a 30-day stretch, relapse at least as possible, the least amount of times as possible. So where you might have been masturbating two, three times a day, you might have been chronic. Okay, this next 30 day period, I aim to masturbate just three times. And let's say you masturbate four times. It's still a big improvement. Okay, once that 30 day period is over, okay, I, ma I masturbated four times in this 30 day period. Next 30 day period, I aim to do less. But gradually over those periods, you realize your streaks get less and less and less. Those ticks you have next to number get less and less and less. Progressively, it's an accumulation. That is a much more effective method than counting days because your brain is actually healing and making progress. I don't highly recommend that either, but if you're so adamant on keeping a tally, on keeping a streak, on ticking a number, then do that. Personally, don't even bother. No fact shouldn't even be on your mind. You have to form the identity, I'm not a fapper, and you get on with your day. You fill your time. Idle time is the devil's workshop. I always say this. So, Fill your time up. To eradicate a habit, you have to incorporate a positive habit. I always say this. So hit the gym, read a book, be productive, study, work on your business, go to your nine to five, spend time with family. Do something productive, but do not do no, but do not sit there thinking about NoFap. And because the more free time that you have, the more you think about NoFap, the more likely you are to relapse. And that is the message that I'm portraying you and conveying to you in this video. If you did find it insightful, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll see all of you guys for my next video. Peace.